Hey guys, uh, here we go. We're getting into our third game of uh, this uh, Ghost Gym Cup, and my first two were against uh, quite decent opponents. The first one, especially, I was that was a shock win for myself. <sighs> yeah, if you haven't watched the first two, the second one was quick, and here we are. Oh, here we go. So. <sighs> Now this should be easy. This guy's actually at a high rating, 16, and he's running no ghosts. This should should be an easy win. Um, yeah, this this just let's see how we go. Um, he's got a few 3 MP DOA Zapdos. All right, so he's he's starting his own little rush, and if I run right up to him, he's just gonna hurdle jump me. So maybe that's how he's got his wins. Someone just running straight up to him. So I want to bunk it down, bunk it down, back down here, and just see what he wants to do. Um, he is defensive with Zap. He's expecting me to jump over. So at least it's gone. Even though he's not running any ghosts, um, he knows how to play. So that's that's nice to see. So that's probably how he got his wins. Um, I'm just going to run up with Chandelure and hoping he matches me with his DOA or something um, because that would be lovely um, I want to burn that thing Tie 101 130 oh he's coming after me with Raikaru um, oh 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 no oh no it's steady Chandelure my Mr. Reliable got his big miss. So I'm just going to chuck Gengar up here in front of him and then I want to look to get a surround set up with Coco next turn. So we'll see what he wants to do. Um, X attack going down. Alright so he's not as smart as I thought. <laughs> X attack does nothing for me. Wow. Wow, is this going to be one of those games? <laughs> Maybe this is how this guy got all his wins. <laughs> um, wow, I'm just going to check his Zapdos in front of him and make sure he does I probably don't even need to do that uh, since he's on the outer lane, but just making sure he doesn't get too far down. <clears throat> now, if he runs down and takes me out with... Oh, okay, we'll just swap for DOA. That's, that's fine by me. Um, hmm, I've, I don't really have any, oh wow, wow, I, was say, I didn't really have any great matchups for that DOA while my ghosts are in the PC, but I went after his Jolteon because I thought, hey, if I roll my gold, I get a win, if I roll white on white, it's a win, and if I get frozen, I can unfreeze, but misses happen. Two of them for me apparently and even for him. Alright. Now I can do with this. Come on Chandelure. Roll me some white. Here we go. Oh dear. With the respin. With the respin. Um, he blocks it off so I can't just take it. He he should have moved. Well I suppose he probably wants to move off his Rokario. Um, so, what I'm going to do is drop my spirit and try and curse something. Probably the most likely to be cursed is going to be DOA. Um, ah, oh, where's that slip when you need it in battle? Um, so I'm expecting probably right carrier to move on down. Oh, what is that? Just taking... I suppose moving in so he can surround me wherever I move. Um, so I'll take this time to move up Spiritomb. Maybe I could get a lucky um, curse on his white or just straight take him out to recycle my own mons. I mean, look at this. This guy's got all his mons out on his field. And I'm struggling. Ah, <laughs> oh, slip. There we go. There we go. I needed a little bit of that. Um, don't get the blue this time. Oh, and he's going to take it. He wants his DOA on the bench. Alright. Alright. This guy, he's actually... He seems to be quite a smart player, which is nice. Um, 
I need to do something about that uh, Articuno though, because at the moment only my Phantom can reach goal, and if the RNG goes the way it's been going, and I roll white on Articuno's white, yeah, that ain't gonna be pretty. So. He's just taking an entry point, just trying to lock me down. I could take his entry point and stop DOA coming out, but the problem with that is, ooh, oh, alright, I should have just shouldn't have done that. I was hoping to see a lucky little, yeah, that was horrible. Just take it out and try and make the DOA come out on my side. I should have just taken that with Phantom, and... Then I'll force him to move his umbrella and I can take that. So, here we go. I'll definitely be happy to take a little bit of that. <clears throat> um, yeah, that was just a beautiful roll. So, we'll see where this is going to lead. I'd love to get Spiritomb just cursing a few mods. Um, let's go. Let's try and curse it or just take him out. Oh, wow, the misses, the game of misses, after I won my first two games, I mean my RNG was fairly amazing for me in my last match, um, I guess this is going to be handing it back to me, getting me shut down by someone who doesn't even run ghosts in a ghost gym, so he's burned a lot of his plates, he's got a max revive and a hurdle jump. He could potentially hurdle jump over me. So I'm just going to set up in front of him. So if he wants to do that, I can surround him on either either end. And also I can Mega Ginga to stop him from moving. So it looks like he's using a plate. Hurdle jump going down. Alright, so he's X attack something that didn't need to be X attack. Then now hurdle jump into a surround, just a given surround for me, that ain't good for business, it's good for me, not for him, and there we go, we've seen the last of his plates burnt, so let's start moving our Mayan ones up, I want to get Chandelure in the middle, get him probably attacking DOA, I want to suicide him, get DOA burned, so my Ginga can potentially take it up. That's the plan. So looking for white on white action. And if I can take this out, then I can go and take the other side entry. With depending what he's gonna do. Um, I suppose he's wow. Well, he's gonna respawn me. He doesn't want me to burn him. He saw my intentions and there we go I'll take that anyway so a burnt DOA if he attacks wow wow white on white come on oh dodge on dimensions this is actually where I don't mind to get in dodge and he sees that and he knows that yeah, this, this guy he's he's got a decent head on him of what he understands what he should be doing and how he should play so, um, yet again, that was probably not a good move. I probably should have just phantomed up into the corner and then Gengid into the other corner. But it's just that I don't want to lose my games because of bad RNG with only one mod protecting the goal. Um, normally I just go all up, push all up on, on him. So maybe, maybe playing like this is actually going to do alright for me. Uh, maybe I can lure him in to attack Coco. Um, that'd be nice. No, he's just dropping his uh, DOA down there. So, now what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to go try and attack. See if I can get my 120... Ooh, that purple. Didn't want that against his gold. <laughs> I was going to say 120 on gold, but... 
not going to happen. Um, and if I did lose, I'll just bring out Spiritomb and try and cure something. Ooh, hello Jolteon. Oh, the Jolteon it doesn't, doesn't, uh, just wants to get surrounded. So I'm, I'm going to take this time now. I've had enough of that defending down there. Zap those hopefully can roll a gold for me or some blue or purple. That'd be nice. Um, boom. Gengar's out. And with Gengar out, that means I'm going to be able to recycle my, um, my Spiritum. So, what I'm going to do here with Zapdos, just cover the goal. Make sure nothing crazy happens straight away. If he attacked and won. Wow. That would be crazy. Like, yeah. That, that, that wouldn't be good for business. Um, but now's a good time for me to max revive my chandelure. Bring him out and drop him in front of DOA to hopefully burn DOA, get it white on white, get a tie, and then see how we go. Um, I'm potentially may drop a, if he gets burned here, here we go, white on white, he will be a good target for, uh, ooh, D slip, D slip, come on, not a blue, there we go. So now I can potentially cover all his entries and just hopefully win. <laughs> um, don't let DOA back out. And then now he's only got his uh, Articuno and Zapdos. So he's moving back. He needs to clear things out. I'm just going to block the path for him and attack him. Hopefully get some white on white. But even if I gave him a charge, if I got frozen, yeah, that wouldn't be good. Um, so, I'd like, really like to surround him, but uh, I can't really at this time. He goes a little bit defensive, so, yeah, good on him, smart. I want to set up a surround on that... On that Articuno, boom, there we go. So now he really has to move it. And if he doesn't, then he's going to be in trouble. So, let's see what kind of trouble he wants to get in. He could have made a dive for my goal. Oh, oh the second one. The second one. That's just horrible. I'm just going to attack into it here. Um, because I want to get my destiny bond on, hmm, you're already cursed, you can curse something else. Um, sorry, anyway, uh, what was I saying? I had a feeling I was thinking about curse, but I think I was thinking about it, not. Wow, there we go, there's the remove. <laughs> From Phantom nonetheless, after everything else that I've attacked. Phantom gets the curse. Awesome job, Phantom. So, he's now covering his goal, so he can have monster move up. And I want to take him up on that, that, on that left side for me. So, there we go. TJ, teaching roost. Oh, he's got roosted, and now he's in trouble. He is in trouble, so I can just move out one to the side. If he wants to jump over with Zapdos, then there's nothing I can do. But the buckets, I believe, are em uh, empty. I, I can see that. Um, there we go. The opponent's just taking things off the goal, and that's going to be the win for me. So. That's a bonus. There we go. Uh, that took far too long. Far longer than I expected it to. Yeah. That that was not expected. Um, but. Uh, what should have been an easier deck. Easier an opponent. Actually started winning the game. 
then I could have lost that one. That would have been horrible. But I'm glad I didn't. Got a little streak going at the three streak. So taking all the first three, going to try and get those gems. Those gems are what I want. If I can get those gems, then we'll be looking at another 10 back. Yes, we were hoping for another chandelier, lunara, lunana, lunananas, <laughs> um, or solio, um, or even that the hawk, um, or in any of the previews, um, I'd like to pick up some of them as well. So <clears throat> that would be great. But until then, uh. Shall I just jump into another one? Have a longer video for once rather than shorter ones? Do you? One thing I want to know while I'm here. I'll do this one differently. But I want to hear from you guys. While, while we've got this little bit of time here, jump down to the comment section down below and let me know. Do you guys like my little short videos that I put up? Um, even if it's one or two, three a day. Do you like having a few little short videos, just a quick to the point, good match, openings, whatever else it may be? Is that something you guys enjoy? Um, I'd love to hear feedback from you. Feedback's important for me as a creator, want to be a better creator, um, to do what you guys like and what you guys enjoy to see. Um, and here we go. Here's a recycle deck, Mega Ginga, the Owly, McAllies. Owl. Um, but yeah, I um, love to hear from you guys. As as always, I always say I love to hear from you, and I really do. Um, for for me to make myself better, and for me to make content that you guys enjoy, and that's what I aim to do. So he's gone out with Mega Ginga, and he's uh, I'm guessing he's planning to go Mega Ginga as soon as he can. So I'm just gonna go drop my Phantom back. Um, but short videos, long videos. Which one do you like? Do you mind my short videos that I normally do? Or do you prefer a longer video? Um, I know some of my videos recently haven't been getting as many people interested in them or watching them. I'm not sure if that's just because if I do more in one day, they don't always show up. And if people don't want to go back and rewatch or if people just don't have enough time. But I've got the Confuse, and that is amazing. Now Ging is going to be a miss machine. I'm just going to, not going to bother going out. I thought, I thought about it. I was thinking, maybe I can go out and attack. And then just went back. Then if he rolls purple and goes into the blue, then it's just yeah, not going to be pretty. But now he's just going defensive. He does have a mega Ginga play. He can get rid of that Confuse any time he likes. So, um, what I'm going to do is run out with my good old Faithful over here. Um, he should be able to build, beat anything else that's left on the bench if I'm just rolling damage, which is nice. It's nice that I can do that. Um, not quite sure who we're going to be seeing now. I'm guessing he'll either defend or come out offensively toward me. Maybe Coco? Run Coco back. Mew, alright. Yep, Mew is a good choice to wall it, but I actually don't mind my chances running Sh Chandelure into Mew. Because if I roll my white, Mew's not dead, but Mew has then lost its blue. Or its white, but often people will have the blue smaller. So, uh, Coco. Coco comes out, he's doing the same as me. He's defending, but what I want to do instead of taking an entry is threaten to have both entries within range and stop him from coming straight down the middle. So that is the plan. And this little owl just runs and jumps over me, which is, isn't very nice. Um, we're going to have to find a way to deal with him. And probably the best is that it's on my own turn attacking it. Could potentially do some damage. I could also drop Spiritomb to curse Gengar and potentially remove Gengar. Um, there's a lot of gold on the field at the moment. Zap those Mew Coco. Um, so probably Gengar or the Owl would be the best. Owl is dropping down. Get that curse. There we go. That's what we want to see. Um, 
hopefully I can remove him now. I can either attack with Gengar or no Gengar's all I've got at the moment. So he comes out in the Phantom and I'm like, mm, alright, that's interesting. He's actually he's putting some pressure on me. So he's attacking again. Ah, oh, sorry, I said that wrong. Ah, oh, I'm attacking him again, and I'm the one who gets confused this time. So that's that's a b bit of a shame. Um, I want to go here for the double kill. I want my gold. Oh, thunder charge. Um. But I, I thought that was worth the risk. Just I kind of want Gengar to stay there, confused, just because he's a useless one like that as he is, confused. But every now and then, they can do. Oh come on, give me that Destiny. Oh, oh, I got the Destiny mark. What I was asking for, but I just got hammered. Hammered. Um. I'll just pull the zap this back just to make sure I can block off this other one as well as get a surround on it potentially. The um let's see. What are they gonna do here? Um I am going to now surround the zap those, get the figure advantage on removed his owl. So that was amazing and I've gotta try and Keep this. Oh, sorry, I haven't removed it. I've still got our cursed. I've got to make sure I'm talking properly. <laughs> um, I want to try and remove his owl there. So, if I can get my gold here, this will be amazing. Um, boom! There we go. Now I've removed his owl. So, there we go. That. That right there has now changed the game into my favor. With a confused Gengar, he's had the Mega Gengar. And other than that, with a removed owl, he is should be in trouble anyway. I could take the entries, but I just want to move up, get Spiritum off my entry, and be able to start potentially taking his. Um, I could move my chandelure back, but I've I've had enough defending in this. I think I'm set up enough. Um, I don't really have to run back back and forth all the time. If if uh, what are they gonna do? Max revive. He's sort of a cycle. Alright, so I've got to make sure I'm playing it smart now. I've got to try and take out this game and get them on advantage again. Just to get things off. Oh, no. And that's why I didn't attack. Uh, they attack him the first, very first turn. Which I thought I would. Um, but. What's that but, mister? you got to show us when we... Uh, I'm talking all sorts of nonsense, aren't I? Um, <laughs> uh, what am I doing? I'll take that 50 steel in there. So, let's go. Ginga in the PC. Got the mon advantage back. And now I try not to talk like a crazy person. <laughs> Looking for my gold. Gold on gold. Gold on anything. That's not a roost, is amazing though. So I'll definitely take that. Next turn I can move my Zapdos up into the corner. Um, hopefully one of us goes blue or... Alright. Uh, he deserves that one and if he wins this... Man, that'll be a rough couple of last games. Hmm, he's attacking me, let's see, oh, takes me out, no, this isn't good, this is not good, um, I could potentially swap spot to jump the goal, or I could just stop him from moving, that would be nice.
So, I'm just going to meet again okay, and put him back down here by Coco. And the reason why I'm doing that is to stop him from moving. And then I can potentially walk um, my my spirit tomb down and around to him. But since he's coming out with Phantom, um, it may not be a good idea. I won't be able to make it there in time to protect the goal. And yeah, stay safe. So what I'm going to do is surround the tractor first. Um, what am I saying? The tractor first. <laughs> I'm going nuts. I'm thinking about all sorts of things. I'm dreaming now. <laughs> he attacks me, and that must mean I need to get some sleep. Ah, uh, here we go. So next turn, I should be able to take the entry and block him off, and have it nearly GG. Um, retro. What do we have in store? What are you gonna do for me? Well, for you. Um. Oh, I was gonna say I could see me coming down, and taking a chandelier, and tr trying for the one. Do you all like? Um. Ah, oh, going crazy. I'm going crazy. I need to sleep. I need to sleep. All right. I can play, but I can't commentate at the same time. Ah. Uh, uh, like sleep talking, just thinking about other things, and yeah. So hopefully I survive this. If he knocks me out, if I go gold on white, uh, here we go. So I needed that. Um, the only other thing he can do is mew attack my my chandelier. Curse, there we go, let's remove another one, if he attacks into me and gets gold on purple, he's gone, or if I can get my, as my white on his white, then, boom, gone, another one flying off, another one flying off, Doo -doo -doom -doom -doom. another one flying off, and another one, on, and another one, on. another one flying off. Anyway, we're not here to hear me singing, <laughs> obviously. Um, Shadow Flip, that's the game. He's moved, moved me off goal. He should have done that turns before, just to try. Well, actually, I suppose the best one is to try and take me goal. But there's Chandelure. Thank you, Mr. Mister Reliable, except for the last game that you ran with all the misses. Um, level 9, he'll be amazing. This is my fourth one, and that right there is going to be enough gems to get a 10-pack. So, there's going to be a 10-pack video opening very soon. I hope you guys are hoping for that. I'm looking forward to it. I want to get some, me some new ones. Maybe another Chandelure, Lunala, uh, Sage Leo, um, Owly McAlface, any of those. I'll be pumped. So, let's, let's see how we can go. Heaps of... Uh, gold they're giving away these days, not much anything else, I'm glad this is what the camera night, but here we go, coming back soon with a boost opening, so hope you guys are looking forward to it, see you all soon, let's just check out who's at number one, before I go off, let's just see, who's number one, I'm looking good on these leaderboards, and oh, number one, disguise, hmm, not doing too bad, anyway, that's going to be it. Hopefully, see you guys around soon.